Welcome back, dear friend, and happy holidays. Today we're going to talk about an invisible force that controls the quality of everything in your life. And yet, when we say the words, it may sound esoteric. The power of consciousness. Consciousness is really how much you care. Consciousness comes from inside, not outside. And when we care at the deepest level, we channel the best part of our soul and our spirit. In the holidays, a lot of people go unconscious. Annie, what are your thoughts on consciousness? Yes, of course. Conscious simply means awareness, you know, awareness that we are indeed life. From the notion that mind is what we've learned or what's been cultivated or what's conditioned in us, and consciousness is what we are. It's like we ever think, like, who's in there watching this? That's consciousness, you know, mind is the real of our thinking of what's been actually conditioned. Just to give you a frame, there, you can think of consciousness in four levels, and they're part of how we evolve. And not all of us evolve completely, and this is not a measurement for anybody else, it's a measurement for ourselves. Because the more conscious we are, is really just a measure of how much more we care. So, egocentric consciousness is the first level. That's when you care about who? The big me. The problem is, life's not about me, it's about we. You know, we as human beings can't make it on this own. We think we're all islands. We have our own capacity. We're in control and we're not. We can shape things. We can influence things. We can certainly influence and control our thoughts and our meanings. But when we're focused on ourselves, we usually suffer. Second level is ethnocentric. The problem with ethnocentric is it creates evil. It creates opposites. It creates something to fight. And so whenever you're there in the ethnocentric place, it's better than just being by yourself because now you care about others. But you usually really care only because they can give you something pleasurable or give you something painful. Third level of consciousness really is where you're world-centric. That's at some stage, sometimes in late teens, early 20s, very often people wake up and they go, hey, it's not just about me. And they start caring about people that can't give them pain or pleasure. They care about somebody who lives in Africa who's starving and they can't help them. They can't make their life better. They care because they're part of humanity. And ultimately, there is spirit consciousness, which is you care about everything, animals, things, sentient beings, you feel it all. So I just want you to understand that as you're thinking about the holidays, as you're thinking about your life, the more you care about others, the more alive you're going to feel. Part of how we make that bridge or that jump is a recognition that we take full and utter responsibility for our experience of life. Consciousness expands by how we live and by having an awareness and cultivating that by a daily practice, whether that be through the path of inquiry, through the path of mindfulness, through the path of prayer. All of these rituals or all these daily practices connects us to our higher self. We'll all do more for others than we'd ever do for ourselves. I'm sure you do more for your children if you have them than you would for yourself or for your loved one. That's part of the beauty of humanity. That's what makes us human. That's what creates what we're proud of. So condition the notion of mind to be used as a tool and consciousness as a notion to be experienced. And life certainly does indeed have its challenges and what mo or what most of us would consider problems. But when we expand our, our awareness beyond the problem itself, we, we have the gift of seeing a higher truth. You know, the higher truth that we're all here to evolve. And no matter what our life stimulus, what our life experience, it's been painful or otherwise, if we're born and we're human, we're going to know pain at times. You know, it might look different, it might sound different, it might be a different narrative, but we've all experienced pain and that pain is a catalyst for us to evolve. And part of that evolution is to expand our consciousness to become more of our true nature. So instead of judging, Let's enjoy each other. Let's find the beauty in each other. Let's find the newness in our consciousness that can renew the joy and the happiness and the love and the unity that makes us all great families, great countries, great communities, and you know, gives us all a great life. Thank you for joining us today. As you can tell, it's a passionate topic for us both. <laughs> we love you and have the most amazing holiday.